started as a wholesaler. To, they sold plants to nurseries from Kansas City to Chicago, all over the Midwest. Um, so they started the wholesale business in 1989, and then in 2004 they decided to open their own retail location. And they had lived in the Central West End and raised their kid were raising their kids in the Central West End um, and were sort of emotionally invested in this area. Um, so they decided to open here. And I don't know, Rob and I talked a little bit about this location. Uh, have you guys spent any time in St. Louis before? No. Not really. yeah. Yeah. Well, there's something called the Del Mar Divide, which is, uh, I think it's the greatest economic divide in any city in the United States. It's racial, economic, I mean, it divides rich from poor, I mean, completely separates uh, people in St. Louis. And Del Mar is one street up over there. So this is a transitioning neighborhood. It is, this actually has transitioned a lot, apparently, in the last 15, 20 years. It still has a way to go. If you walked around a little bit, you would see. Um, so it was a really risky move. I'm just, I'm, I haven't talked to John McPeters about this, but it was not, I know just from living here, I live actually about four blocks down that way. Um, I would not choose to put a retail operation here necessarily, especially a nursery. Um, but they did it. Yes, black, white, rich, poor, everything. Oh, we're in the white. In the white, went by a, a block. Our, but our um, customers are really from everywhere. And okay. it's really interesting. I mean, it's, it, we have, it's so fun to talk to them because customers that only come and buy. I find it really interesting how many customers come in to buy aloe to treat their um, skin wounds, not as a plant to grow, but to treat because their families, that's how they were raised treating their, their skin. And people who obviously come in and buy for very uh, practical purposes. So it's a really mixed clientele, and most of all, it's amazing that this place, to me, that has done as well as it has in 10 years. We just celebrated the 10th anniversary of Burwood, so, um, so they are pioneers, I think, the McPeter family, the McPeter family in, in opening here and expanding the way they have. You'll see. So we started with this building, which I'll tell you about in a little bit, and they have this this is the vegetable garden, and this is the hoop house. They were open, let's see, uh, vegetable garden six years ago. The hoop house was four years ago. So you can come up here and 